So what are you excited about for the next season? Um, all of it actually. I, I mean, I think going back into it, uh, we're jumping right back in uh, as we always do. Right? There's always something that's gonna ruin the warehouse's day, and we gotta fix it. Uh, the world's day, yeah. So. I'm excited, but I'm always excited to go back in and jump right in and, and, and get into it. But I, I really think, and I can't give you guys spoilers or anything, but the season finale is phenomenal. I think it's for the series finale, I guess. Um, I think it wraps up the show in such a way that I don't think anybody will be unhappy with it. You know, it's like one of those things that I read and I was just like, a little tear in my eye. And it's just amazing. I really like, I think it's like the best episode that I've read of the show. So I think that that's, and, and the, the great thing is we get to read all the episodes through because it's a short season so they kind of had a lot of it prepped for us if you're doing a longer one they're kind of fixing them up so that was really cool too to just be able to read it all the way through and see how it's going to end um, but it's bittersweet was there anything you read you were just like I can't believe you did that um you know I mean well there's always stuff that's like holy you know like whoa like you know it's like surprising and that. but nothing that was like I was like I can't believe they would do that you know but like I said, the ending's so, so good, and, and I think everyone's going to be really happy with it. So, yeah. Is there one moment in particular that you just can't wait for the fans to see? Um, yeah, again, like, I can't really, that, like, yeah. these are tough questions because I can't ask it. But yes, absolutely, like, there's, there's probably two or three moments in the end that are just so good on so many different levels like exciting and emotional and like all these things that I think again like people are just going to be blown away by so I, I wish I could my boss is over there so just I can't tell say us all too the much yeah. no 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 just, just do it I'll, I'll, I'll fire me before, I, before we get to the end I'll write me out <laughs> yeah yeah has Eddie been here yeah. no not yet oh well let's see you, you'll get them when Eddie comes in <laughs> yeah exactly how does it feel knowing this is your last comic con and that last year was our last chance to hang with you guys for the sci-fi digital this entire year is kind of like a farewell well I'm hoping that I'll get another sci-fi show and then I'll be able to come back on for something but this is my first like I, this, I've never been to Comic Con so the past like last year I didn't come because my character was dead and it was is he going to come back so I didn't get to come so I'm really excited to to finally get to come and you know it's the final season so it's kind of you know the last hurrah but I'm, I'm really glad to be here I, I I did Smallville for three years and I didn't go for Comic Con for that either so I was like when I got in a warehouse, I was like, "Sweet, like it's gonna happen," but it's taken till now. So, um, yeah, it's, it's sad. It's it's sad, but I'm glad to be here for the last the last one, anyways. Yeah. Do you play video games? And if so, what games do you play? I play StarCraft Two. Nice. Uh, that's basically <laughs> the only game that I play. You, you didn't uh, check out the Ubisoft Pirate Ship? It's a pirate ship. I've only been here for three hours. I am gonna get to it <laughs> if I have any free time. It sounds awesome. Though. Um, yeah, I play StarCraft Two. Past couple years. Uh, and I play with my brother a bit because he's he's got it too, so we'll play. But uh, I found I'm engaged now. I just got engaged, and with my went, yeah, I'm all grown up. Um, <laughs> But you know, like, I like StarCraft because you can just play it for like 20 minutes like a game. Sure. I was playing like all these uh, sort of like Fable and all these games, like time hours, suck. Hours. And you know, my girlfriend was just like, you know, <laughs> and I'm like, I know, honey, I know. So, uh, so yeah. Do you get between you and your games? Yes. I love her that much. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's it called? Portal 2. Portal 2? Okay. Good game. There you go. Um, so like, uh, so maybe I'll get a new system when the new ones come out uh, and, get, and get into it, but I kind of been taking a break from the consoles and just kind of start crafting too. There you and, go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I actually have a question. Um, so, it seems like the question of the table is, are you, is there any artifacts in the show that you want to keep? That you're kind of like, okay, I'm going to take that and put that on my mantle. Yeah, the, the metronome that brought me back to life, I won because, uh, well, one, because I think it's a cool looking artifact. Like, you know, you can put it somewhere, it looks kind of kind of classy. I, and also, it's obviously very significant to my character, so to have that as a bit of a, a memento would be nice. Uh, I would love a Tesla. It's not really an artifact, but I love the design of those things. They look so cool. I was just telling uh, uh, some other people that, you know, when we get them, I'm so excited. But sometimes I have to just carry a regular gun because they're like ATF, so they give me a regular gun. And I'm like, I have a Tesla? And they're like, no, somebody else has got it. All right. Yeah. Um, 
Um, but yeah, those are the two things I think. I mean, there's so many things. The aisles are filled with kind of weird things when you're walking through, and I think everybody started to kind of look at stuff because you know, like, like hmm, what's that all about? That's pretty cool. So, but I think for me, the metronome and the probably, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I first stole some stuff when I was there. Yeah. What's that? I feel like I should have stole some stuff when I was yeah, there. When you're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, they keep a pretty tight eye on that stuff. Like, every time you look at it, they're like, no, no, no. Like, looking back on your entire experience with this show, what, what are some of your favorite and least favorite moments? Um, favorite, I, I hmm, there's so many good, there's so many good moments, there's not so many bad moments, when, I, at the end of the third season when I was killed, I was like, this, that was a great storyline, I really liked it, I thought it was executed really well, but that was kind of a bummer moment, because I didn't know if I was going to come back, they said, eh, hey, yeah, we can probably bring you back, like, we got a, I'm sure we got an artifact, we can make some money, but I didn't know, so that was kind of like a, not like a, a bad moment, but just sort of like sad, like, yeah, like, this is great, I would love to keep doing this. Um, but great moments, like pretty much every day. But sincerely, like it's just it's it's a blast, and I'm sure uh, talking to these guys, you'll you'll you know get that. We genuinely have fun, like 99% of the time. And, and what was it like? Because when you first started, you were kind of like a little guest star, and then you yeah. were expanded, and then it killed you, and yeah. then it brought you back. What what's that like as an actor, this person? Because I'm a consultant in my day, you know, yeah. I know what it feels like to get cut um, when the project's over. What's it like as a just a human being? Well, it, it was exciting. Uh, getting on the show in the first place was intimidating. You know, any, any time you come into a show that's a hit and then like going into the third season, it was the biggest show on the network, you know? And these people work together really, really well, know each other really, really well. And then you're being thrown in to be like, hey, you're the new guy. Like, what, what are you going to do? Like, what are you going to bring to the table? It's like, oh, I don't know. Uh, but everybody was super friendly and, and amazing. So that was, that was kind of an easy transition. And then, like I said, dying at, at the end of the third season was, I was really, you know, kind of bummed because I would have loved to go back and then when they brought me back it was amazing. You know, it was really, really cool and then I really felt part of the team because they, you know, they had an out if they didn't like my character, if they didn't, if it wasn't working mm -hmm. and they decided to bring me back. So that just, like, as an actor, you're like, they like me, you know, like, it was a, it's a great feeling. Um, and then wrapping it up is, yeah, it's bittersweet. It's, it's sad because, you know, you get to work with these people who spend so many hours together, build these characters together, all these relationships and, you never know when you're going to see them again. We all live in different places. We're all going to work in different places. So that's kind of a just it's part of the business. It always happens, but it's really it's, it's tough. And do you have any idea what you're going to do or what you want to do next? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna audition. I'm gonna hustle. I mean, there's some irons in the fire and stuff, but uh, yeah, until you're done, it's really hard to move on to the next thing. So hopefully, hopefully, it won't be too long until I get onto another sci-fi show. Thank you.